But there's there's a door. It's been s and you can't open the door. Look, the shiny stone is reacting. Except somehow that shiny stone opens the door. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. But what's in the door? Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Stuff. Stuff. Hi. Greetings. I am Culex, Dark Knight of Fenda. I have crossed into this dimension to fight for the Dark Mage, but this world is uninhabitable for me and my kind. I must return to my own world. Before I go, though, I would like to challenge your strongest knight. Will you accept my challenge? You will enter combat against me? Yes. On guard! Okay. The most optional boss fight in the game, and it's the I most... I it's made to be out like a Final Fantasy Yes, it, that, yes, that's exactly what this is an homage to. But this is the most awesome fight in the game. I am matter. I am antimatter. I can see your past. I can see your future. I consume time. And I will consume you. And the music is so good! And he has four crystals. I think 4,000 attack is his. and Or 4,000 HP. 4,000 attack! Wow. Yeah, no. Good fight. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna die. Ripped. <laughs> But the music is just so amazingly done, and he even has all the elemental crystals that are in Final Fantasy 1. That is a perfect homage. <laughs> you know, earth, wind, water, and fire. Except he uses lightning, because... Um... Fuck it. Incoming! Right on ahead. Glad I equipped the lazy shell. Cheap as shit, but I've, already, I've beaten this guy in the past without it, so... Mm -hmm. I don't care! I feel like you have to do it at least once legit, so... But I've done that. Oh god. Oh boy. Rock candy! It's barely... The hell, Mario's not even equipped with it, and he's barely hurting him. Yeah. And it's funny, I got tired of this move, and I'm still gonna use it. Damn, that was okay, I guess. I'll just stick to the lazy shell, cause, yeah. <laughs> and blow it up! I do not remember how much HP the crystals have, I just remember they're annoying, especially when they do shit like this. <laughs> but yeah, of, cor of course they're gonna have a nice little Final Fantasy homage in here since they- wow. Since they were the ones who made, you know, help help develop this game. Yeah. Jesus, man, leave him alone. It's like, damn, we will we will kill you. We hate Mario. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was a waste. That just removes any uh, stat boosts you get. Yeah, I wish, wish I knew how much HP these things had, but once again, I didn't bring Mallow into the fight, because, you know, I need a healer, damn it. I just know we're going to be here for a little while. Oh, I'm smart. I better not, I better not waste my flower points all willy-nilly, then. Mm. Well, I didn't bring any maple syrup thinking I didn't need it. Wow, that actually hurt her. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, come on! Oh, crap. Petals! Petals! It's cherry blossoms! It's petal dance. Oh, God. Blizzard! Fairy Queen! That'd be funny in so many ways if I ended up losing this. Jesus, man. Ow! <laughs> just bam, just attacked out of nowhere. Oh! I forgot I had all this cool stuff. 
I completely forgot about okay, that. I save it for... I do not need it for the final battle. Final battle is way easier than this. Like, by comparison, this should be the final... You know, it's like the equivalent of Jekt and Yu Yevin in, in Final Fantasy X. Oh god, it hurts, it hurts the eyes. <laughs> uh oh, bye. Could be trouble, could be trouble, nope, still good, still good, okay. And we'll be able to heal that, heal that without a problem. Okay. I'm not increasing my stats, so I don't care. I'm gonna be using shit like this because I am glad I stocked up on it. I did not need it for Exor. <laughs> That's two. I'm just getting rid of these things because they're annoying. Take that. Take that, you heathen. <laughs> Hit him with a frying pan. Get out of here. For the final battle, though, I should definitely bring some royal syrups. I'm gonna need those. And Toad right before it sells all that, so I think we'll be covered. Yep. Oh god. Oh, I probably should have healed. Oh well. Good thing your accuracy sucks. And that is still a useless move. It does no damage! And these crystal Man, these things have a lot of HP to them. Yeah. I want to say maybe 2,000 or 2,400 a pop? Sorry that I don't have actual numbers for you guys. Uh-oh. Oh god, he's using rock candy. He's using his own form of rock candy. Yes! Okay, down to Culex, and I know I've done some damage to him already. I think he has 4,000. And... Stuff like that will definitely take him out. We've done like 800 with the rock candy. I know that much. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't care. Keep using that move. I really don't care. Yeah, I'm not even worried about healing anymore. Just worried about beating, beating the piss out of him. Oh god. Maybe I should be worried about healing. Jesus! Jesus! Come on, man. Okay. Here you go, Gino. I still don't, like I said, still don't know the timing on this. And I will probably never know. Yeah. I don't care. Oh my... Thank you! Do 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 do. I love that. I love that they put the Final Fantasy victory music in there, too. <laughs> that is the most amazing thing. And even right here, they put the opening to it, too. That's um, that's amazing with the crossover here. Ah, your spirit is strong. Thank you, brave knight. I will treasure this momentum of my journey here. Perhaps in another time, another game, we may have been mortal enemies. Let us part as comrades in arms. Take this. Treasure it as a keepsake of our fight. 
received a quartz charm. Farewell, champion knight. Well, that was fun. I always love that fight. Mm -hmm. And and the funny thing is, the door's gone. Uh, I will go go take care of the last little bit of business for now that I can think of. You wish to challenge me? All right, let's see what you're capable of. Got to fight Master Jinx. Wow. Uh oh. Receive both physical and magical in half, and multiplies damage dealt by 1.5 times physical, magical, and item-based attacks. So basically, it just makes you strong. It prevents instant death. Nice. That would have been few, simply amazing. So you might want to equip that. Eh, there's nothing else that can give us instant death, though. So I guess I underestimated you. You packed quite a punch, but, but don't I'm let it go to your head well. because I let you have that round. Let's have a rematch. Actually, okay, so you said it prevented instant death. I'm Cuts gonna... damage in half, and both magic and, and physical. And multiplies your item damage. Yeah, by 1.5. Yes. And prevents instant death. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna give that to Peach then, since she had nothing useful equipped. You wish to challenge me? Alright, you asked for it, and no crying if you get hurt. We have to defeat Jinx more than once. Good thing we're maxed out on level. Although he gets more... Uh-oh, triple kick. Smack. Right in the goddamn face. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, that was... <laughs> I thought Quicksilver was his instant kill maneuver. Huh, I guess I was wrong. And I'm glad I was. I didn't even mean to use this. Simply amazing. Yeah, after getting jumped on 39 times. Jump. Still haven't had enough. It isn't that often that I have someone this competitive to spar with. All right, this match will be the one that counts, since I'm placing my reputation on the line. You wish to challenge me? Watch closely, Jacker. You're about to see your sensei in action. This is it. Jinx is, Jinx is final form, or at least his final power. Hmm. Oh god, bombs away! Mm. Bombs away, motherfucker! I'm gonna try that again. I know Super Jump's boring, but let's just get out of here. Damn it. Phew, simply amazing. Well, okay, down he goes. Whoa, you are strong. You are the stronger champion, no doubt about it. My reputation was staked on this last fight, so I've lost the title of sensei. From today, you are the sensei of this dojo. Please take this belt, which only the highest ranking fighter in the dojo can wear. Got a jinx belt? We will rename the dojo Mario Style Tojo and incorporate your jump technique into the training. Okay. <laughs> Jaeger and I will start on our training immediately. 1,000 warm-up jumps. Ready? Begin! Master, share your wisdom with us. 
Mario Sensei, the new regimen will strengthen us, right? Well, okay, where it is. All right, hey guys, we're coming bringing you the extras that we promised. I think this is before the Smithy fight, and if not, it is now. But as you can see, we're in the middle of the the 100 super jump challenge, which I don't know about you watching it, but for me doing it, it was a pain in the ass. Yeah, you can imagine. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, wow, that was quick too. But then again, I started it off at 75, and come, it's like the footage is going. I probably could have cut out more but whatever this is what happens and now once you do that though you go to monstro town you go talk to the super jump pal he's like tells you that your record stands for a, at a hundred right now and it's impossible to go past that which it is which you've proven your point so it's like no let's just it's done it's over and you get a super suit which like the lazy sh shell from what I've read is a broken piece of armor not as good as the lazy shell. I mean, you don't really need it. The lazy shell is all you need. But still, it's pretty good. And now we're back in another 100. 100 challenge, the great guy looked the other way. 100 challenge. I think you were asleep when I was doing this. Yeah. I wish I could have been asleep too. This was so boring. This looks stupid. It is stupid. We're, we're in progress at like the 90 mark. But I mean... It, it felt like this took forever because you have to beat him a hundred times. It took me more than a hundred games to do this. Fortunately enough, it's free. Otherwise, it'd be stupid. The rest of his casino is kind of pointless, though. Because I think we've shown it off. There's, you know, the pointless slot machine, the blackjack table. All you win, all you win is frog coins. You don't get, you don't get jack for it. And for beating him a lot, you get all this useless garbage. And if you noticed, I'm not going to get rid of anything in my inventory. If the uh, Bowser's Keep video wasn't in any indication. Like, hell, that stuff was junk to me. Which which is sad. Because it was good. I just had better shit. I don't even know what number we're at now. We started it, this off at 91 because, fuck, if we're going to sit here for the whole 100, I did that once. I don't need to do it again. Between those two things, that cost me about three hours of time, and yet we're going to get all this out in about five minutes. Which, yeah, not fun. I know you would have loved doing this, but you have to, basically, you just have to look the opposite way of him, and, oh, he gives me a mushroom, that's cute. I don't need it. Ready, and look the other way. Ooh, you need... And it's either that or it's moldy mush, which... Moldy mush and wilted shrooms, which is all useless crap. You can't do anything with it. It's just... You, you have to... Oh, and here it is. 100 wins and... The Pointless Star Egg! And after we, after we watch the video on it, though, I actually read what this does. We'll talk about that once we get into the battle. I had to decide what to get rid of, because all my shit was good, unfortunately. But... Yeah, now we te I tested it out, like, right after I got it. I just picked Bean Valley, because it was right there. So yeah, I know. We and I read what it does. Basically, Gino's going to use it here. Presents a spotlight, some starfish show. Now, it's going to do 100 damage, but if they have the Quartz Charm equipped, it does 150. Which is stupid. But I believe the last thing we have up is the Midas River Course. Which you've seen earlier on when we went to B Bello or the no the Caro Sewers, excuse me. But you have to pay thirty coins to this guy just to straight get in and you know play the mini game for you know just like that. Yeah, but it, it's a mini game. You pay money, you know, it's something. But there's other ways in. I don't know why I even went that far in the dialogue. Wow, I really went pretty far into this one. Come on. Okay, good. I'm like, how much how much of that did I leave in? But okay, now we're now we're in the sewers. This is how we got to Midas River the first time, and it's how we're gonna get there again. You go into the pipe to Bellom's room, and you automatically end up back there for free, but you kinda had to work a little bit to get there. But at least it's for free, so and now the last way, the most convoluted, you have you had to buy the fireworks for five hundred gold, get the shiny stone, which we used to get to the Culex fight. Give the shiny stone to this girl in the item shop, and she'll give you a carbo cookie. Ugh. 
Basically, yeah, keep in mind, you had to pay 500 coins to get to this point. Then, you have to go give... This girl is hungry, and she wants your cookie, so you give her the cookie. I think she's going to give you a frog coin, which would have been a ripoff. And then she's like, don't take my seat. I'm going to take it. I'm going to go down the bucket. And we're going to end up at Midas River. Oh, and I forgot, though. When you go in that entryway, the door's closed, and the guy's gone. So you just take your money and leave, which is pointless as sin. But anyways, like I said, we will see you guys back here for for the end of the for the live portion and the end of the game.